Hello and welcome to the John Ark Show. Today's episode is called Elvis on Tour Again. Before we begin, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our channel for free. You can also like, comment, and follow us. We're going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up, so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new episode. Also, we ask that you post a link to today's show on all your social media to help get the word out. Now, let's get started. Elvis Presley died on August 16th, 1977. Since then, the world has changed dramatically, and it's become almost unrecognizable. If Elvis showed up again today, he wouldn't believe what he was seeing. So we asked ourselves an interesting question. If Elvis were to go on tour today, how successful would that tour be? Well, that depends on a number of factors. First of all, would it be a real human Elvis impersonator going on tour, or would it be some kind of a virtual computer-generated Elvis? Paul McCartney is 80 years old, and he's still touring very successfully. Now, he's a vegetarian, and because of that, he's uh, probably in better shape than Elvis ever was, uh, and that'll be a factor uh, in, in the overall picture. If it was a digital or virtual version of Elvis that went on tour today, then they could always de-age him uh, back to the mid-30s and make him look much younger, and perhaps you know that would enhance the tour's prospects. Next, let's ask ourselves about the cultural changes that have taken place over the last few decades. Now, we have hip-hop now, a new generation of country music stars, uh, we have social media, and everyone has cable and the internet. Smartphones also. So theoretically, you could watch some concerts on your smartphone. Also, the demographics of the United States have changed tremendously over the last few decades. With all of that in mind, would there be a market for Elvis and his music after all of these years? Well, if you go to YouTube and you look at the view counts on a lot of the Elvis videos, uh, they're in the hundreds of millions. And a lot of those views are from recent young fans who've created new uh, singing and dancing uh, video tributes to Elvis. So there are a lot of different people out there who still love Elvis and his music. So what if somebody decided to produce a modern day Elvis tour across the country? How would that be feasible? Well, we believe one option might be to incorporate live and current celebrities. Uh, they would be incorporated uh, in the form of an Elvis impersonator uh, joining them on stage, or it could be a digital uh, virtual Elvis joining the live celebrities on stage, or they could digitally recreate a 3D Elvis and combine him with live stars into uh, the acting and the dancing and and that that might be successful who knows but if you had a 3d elvis or an impersonator that was really a uh, lifelike and and very similar then that could be very effective another option would be to put elvis a 3d elvis a virtual elvis uh into a, a movie with austin butler who just starred in the new elvis movie doing that would take advantage of elvis's tremendous legacy and his fan base as well as the popularity of, of the new Elvis movie and Austin Butler himself who did a tremendous job. What about the virtual and digital possibilities of all of this as the technology constantly improves? Well, there's no doubt that uh, if they improve the 3D uh, technology and start incorporating uh, an authentic looking and fully believable digital Elvis into new movies or TV shows, then there would be some uh, demand and interest uh, in that sort of possibility. So would people today go to see uh, new movies or TV shows with Elvis in them? We think they would if the writing and the acting and the direction were really uh, A-level. Uh, there's something else for you to consider. When Elvis was alive, he never toured overseas because the colonel didn't have a passport and he was afraid that if he left the country, he might not get back in again. But that would no longer be a problem with a digital Elvis. He could literally go on tour each year all over the globe, so the economic potential of his tours would be greater than ever. And since this would be a digital Elvis, then he could be pre-programmed to sing in the native language of uh, every country that he visited, and, and that would have some economic potential as, and draw as well. Imagine Elvis singing some of his songs in Chinese or German or, or, 
or you know or other countries Just about any country he went to any continent he went to the show could be digitally programmed to allow him to sing in the native tongue of that country uh, you know he could go to, he could go to Cuba Mexico City anywhere he wanted that would be amazing and those are just a few of our ideas uh, if the Elvis estate or any promoters out there are interested in partnering with us for such a project then I believe that the disclosed and undisclosed elements that we haven't revealed yet could make this one of the uh, richest concert tours in history if so you can reach us at John Ark show at gmail.com once again J O H N a r c s h o w at gmail.com good luck and thank you for watching i want to encourage you to subscribe to our uh, channel for free we're also going to have a lot of great celebrity interviews coming up so make sure to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload a new show thank you once again and we shall talk to you soon bye bye